Hey guys, it's Mr. Blaze. Today I'm going to show you a really fun site called Piscal App. It's a basic 8-bit or pixel style animation site that you can create frame by frame animated characters, animated designs, whatever your heart desires. So let's get there. PiscalApp.com, right there. We're going to select Create Sprite. Now, just to get familiar with this website, what you're going to notice is right here you have your pen sizes. So, one, one, let's try that again. This size, three, four. So, those are your four sizes. Your next tool I'm going to show you is the eraser tool. You can change the size of the eraser by using the pen size tool. So we're going to make it nice and big. Go back to that. Now you have um, the vertical mirror. So if let's say you wanted to create something symmetrical, like a heart, you'd use the vertical mirror. So what it does on one side, it also repeats on the other to keep things symmetrical. Next one is the paint bucket tool. Come down to the color picker, select the color, click in this area to make sure you got the exact, you can choose the exact one by moving the slider around. Gonna fill that up with a nice green. Now, let's say we mouse over here to duplicate. So if you mouse over, this will duplicate in the bottom right hand corner of that frame. Now this particular tool here is color all the pixels the same color. Let's change the color to blue. Anything that's blue will change. And now you notice it's kind of flickering over here. Because we've changed the color. We've animated it in, in a design sense. So we have the eraser tool, the stroke tool. Um, the stroke tool, you can change the size of your line by using this size tool. The stroke tool will help you draw a straight line. So instead of tr trying to and failing, you can use this stroke tool. Rectangle tool, drag to make the size rectangle you want to make. Circle tool, remember it's pixels guys, so it's not going to be a perfect circle. I will show you a way to get um, smaller pixels. All right, there's a circle and again, you can just drag and drop. And again, if you want to play around with filling those in, you can kind of go ahead and, you know, do that. It is really fun. So, now, um, it, let's say we want to change all the blue to black. Or let's do a different color. Let's do purple. So I'm going to change all my blue to purple. Using that paint all pixels. So anything that was blue will change to the color I selected. Here we have, you have different types of selection tools. So if you want to, um, you know, select something, you can use that. And you can also use the command C to copy. So if you want to do command C or control C, I'm going to do a new frame here. And I'm going to do command V and it pasted that. All right. So if you mouse over it, the tools will be um, showing you what they can do and what you need to press on the keyboard shortcuts. To lighten something, command to darken and shift to um, lighten. So I'm going to hold the command and you see it darkened it, right? Mm -hmm. Now I hold the shift while I select. You can kind of use it to shape. Control Z or command Z, sorry. Control Z will undo on a PC. Uh, Control Z or Command Z will be the Mac. This is called the Dither tool. So it, it, it just removes a little bit of the color, exposing the background. So this gray that's in the background is really a transparent. Color picker basically just matches the color that you want. So say well, I want to get this. Um, I don't know this color here. I want to get black. And you notice the color picker on the left hand side changes when I select. So if you made a custom color and forgot, but you could also just click here and see the colors there. Um, that's all the tools over there. Over here you can see a lot of stuff going on. Um, 
the onion tool so you can see layers, so you can see the other drawings I've done underneath. So if you wanted to clone a layer and trace it and see what was there before and modify each step-by-step -step animation, you can do that. I'll show more about that in a bit um, in a new video. Here are the layers, so if you like Photoshop, you add one, one layer, you think of a cake, and then you want to add the frosting. And then you add another layer of cake, and then you add more frosting. That's how layers work. I'll have more on that. Transform will basically flip things around for you vertically. Rotate will rotate things. Clone, if we wanted to um, clone everything and have all the layers be the same, it would clone it, just like that and now there's no more animation. Command Z to undo that, so you can see what was there before. And now here, if you drew something and you wanted everything to be aligned in the same spot in the center, now everything is center aligned. You can hold um, Command to apply to all, all layers. Okay, and that now everything should be aligned. If you wanted to customize your palette, if you wanted to add a new palette, you can take the colors that you have, and let's say you want to add another color here, and keep adding colors, and you want to have a custom palette, we'll just say custom palette. So save all the, the colors, that's it. And then to getting over to resize things, if you want to um, make your lines or pixels smaller, do this at the beginning. I just want to, I should have clarified that earlier. Um, you want to make this a 64 or 65 or not I wouldn't go higher than like 128 but because the file size gets very large make sure that you ch you check maintain aspect ratio make sure you check resize canvas um, at this point since we are resizing it but if you're just starting off you don't need that so I'll show you what happens if I uncheck and now it just it didn't resize that so start by resizing in the beginning last thing I can show you is saving to save your file we'll call this um, heart oh I lost it there clicking the clickster here oh boy it's a sneaky one today sorry guys here we go we're gonna type in um, heart save as pistol and then you would just um, save that to drive or on your desktop and then to import the file again. So if I refresh my page, I didn't lose everything. Click import, then I click browse Pisco files and it should show up in my downloads. Let me see if I can find my heart one. Here it is. I think this one's it. And click uh, combine. Next, import. And now my heart is right there that I created. And that's a, a quick overview of Pisco app. And next one, I will work on showing you more about how to animate. Thanks so much for checking this video and have a great day, guys.